Hello, my name is Sashrikal and welcome to this video. So here, like my title says, I am going to show you how uh, you can record Netflix and Disney Plus on your laptop. Uh, I This is going to be a pretty long video, but I'm just going to tell you how to do that in the front, at the beginning, I guess. Um, so yeah, basically it is just a change on your browser's setting. Before we get started, I just want to say that I have only tried it on Windows, uh, only on Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. I don't know if it works on any other operating system or any other browsers. Um, the only browser that doesn't need this setting change is Firefox. Other than that, almost every browser should... You might need to change the setting, is all I'm saying. Um, it is a simple setting change. It most likely should work on in any operating system in any browser. But I can just give you a guarantee that it would just work on Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge on Windows. I'm using Windows 11, but I've tried it on Windows 10. Not that there is much of a difference when it comes to softwares. Um, but yeah, that is my disclaimer up in front. And now, which setting do you have to change? Um, well, you just have to click on these three settings here, button, sorry, and then click on settings. There, here at the bottom, you will see advanced. Just click on that, go on system, and yours should be like this. This should look like this. You just have to turn it off and relaunch it. But before I, and yeah, that is pretty much everything. So do that, and it should be fine. And you can stop watching the video if you want. But now I'm going to show you what actually happens. So let's just say I go on Netflix right now. Um, hello Netflix. And say I play something. All you should be able to see is the caption and a black screen and probably listen to the audio i'm not sure what my settings are but uh yeah that is pretty much all you should be able to do but when you turn this setting off the hardware acceleration setting and relaunch it that shouldn't be the case let me just play it again tomorrow will be an eventful day there you go you should be able to see the scene you should be able to listen you should be able to do literally anything so yeah that's one thing uh, now I can show you on edge as well uh, it's 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 the same on edge which is why I think that it should be the same on every other browser because edge and Chrome are from two different companies but it's pretty much the same you have to go into system um, and then you'll see it like this you just have to turn it off and restart it and yeah that is pretty much it another thing if you don't want to sit down and record everything because that is something that i personally sometimes find is a bit tedious i do have a video on my channel um this one i will link in below I will link it below, uh, but basically here I walked you through different things that you can use to uh, download shows and movies. It's pretty straightforward, it's like six minute longs and I showed uh, a few things that you can do, like apps that you can download on, on your Android devices and if you don't have Android, what you can use, other... Uh, sources that you can use including mine uh, how you can which keywords you can use on YouTube to find certain shows and movies and how you can download them but because I showed you how you can download and uh, you know download videos and music and audio from uh, YouTube YouTube has hit the link they've also age restricted it and they have taken away my option to monetize anything so I'm not making any money off of this but if you wanna support me my Kofi is down in the description and you can you do not have to at all um, but yeah this is also a pretty straightforward video I told you what you can do how you can do it and I have an antivirus on my phone and on my laptop and everything that I download is safe I've never had any problem with it quarters um, 
you don't need to download anything on your laptop or your computer to screen record it. Um, if you use Windows like I'm using, you should have Xbox Live already installed on your um, system. All you have to do is press down the Windows button and G at the same time. Uh, other thing that I use is this thing. It is a built-in screen recorder that I'm using right now. The only thing that I don't like about it, and the only reason I don't use it, is because this thing would always be on the freaking top. And you don't, I don't like it. But I only have it on my Samsung laptop. So if you have a Samsung laptop, you should have this thing on there. Um, yeah, I don't have it on my HP. On my HP, I only have the Windows Live PD. And that is about it. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try my best to help you. And yes, thank you for watching.